time for Ask the Experts, presented by Lowe's. There was some news that came out yesterday. Um, it's a who's who of who's being cast to play somebody that we all know within our game, and that's legendary coach John Madden. Kyle, would you please do the honors and just walk us through the facts here, and then we're going to play our little game of who maybe we should think uh, would should play coach. Okay, so there's a prestigious movie coming out about John Madden. This is not some gag. This is not, I'll just say it, this is not Kevin James playing Sean Payton. This is a real movie with a real director, David O. Russell, who you know, Silver Linings Playbook, The Fighter, like a very prestigious Academy Award winning director is doing a movie about John Madden. As far as I understand, it's mostly going to be set in the 70s, back before all the, the Madden football stuff, even before all the broadcasting stuff. But they cast... Nicholas Cage to play John Madden in the 70s. It's jarring news. And if you know about this project, it's been going through a lot of different big time actors over the years. One of these things has been in development for years. They landed on Nicolas Cage. It's happening. It's coming your way. And people have a lot of thoughts. Some people are confused. Some people are mad. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it. But you guys tell me your thoughts. Okay, so whatever you feel about Nicolas Cage or John Madden, you know, that, that's your, you're entitled to your opinion. We're not going to go uh, earth fire and, <laughs> right. and, and, and scream at a cloud about Nicolas Cage. I do have to ask the question, though. If you were in the casting chair, Akbar, who Ooh. would you pick mm -hmm. to play John Madden in your Oscar-winning film that you would make about Coach? Well, first off, I do, I do agree. I do like this Nicolas Cage one. Uh, it is going to be interesting to see how he really kind of gets in to the whole method acting. But uh, he's no longer with us. Rest in peace. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I think, is one mm. uh, that I think from a, from a look standpoint, he might be able to give you a little bit more. He would have been able to give you that kind of that John Madden. Mm. Um, you know, and he's got a good, he's got an outstanding. I think people might forget, but he's got an outstanding oh. um, you know resume. So I think that's one. But I think alive today. Yeah. How about this one, Russell Crowe? I mean, he's. I, I mean. He I is like a this. strong yep. I like this. actor. Yeah. I mean, look at that. You can even see a little John Madden starting mm -hmm. to develop a little prosthetic, but this is a beautiful mind. Uh -huh. I think he's a, I mean, when I talk about an actor that goes all the way in, he's one of my favorite actors. I'm going to go uh, Russell Crowe on that one. It's a really yeah. good pick. I yeah. like both of your options. Um, I had one, and then I, something dawned on me this morning, and I had to totally change course. And I, I'm going to redirect the movie in terms okay. of I need this guy to play John Madden as we knew him in the booth and, and towards the end of his career. Okay. And then you can pick different actors to play as we, like, say, the young John Madden at this age or the young John Madden when he's 30. So you can have all those people. But I think Ed O'Neill needs to play John Madden for several reasons. Really? The parallel of Ed uh -huh. O'Neill from Married with Children to Modern Family, but more importantly, the fact that they have the connective tissue of Little Giants with Madden making the appearance off the bus <laughs> in Little Giants and Ed O'Neill was playing Coach Kevin O'Shea in that film. I think it's, I mean, this is a beloved man. We love John love. Madden. I think Ed O'Neill, and obviously he's not going to play him back in the 70s. It's going to be uh, more of a, you know, An towards older, the end yeah, of his oh, life yeah. that we knew him. So Ed O'Neill, in whatever age you want to put him, but I would love to see Ed O'Neill play John Madden. Okay, all right, I'm feeling uh, that Jamie, one. Jamie, I think that's a very thoughtful choice. Thank I, you. I really do. I, I think he's great with comedy. He can do drama. He, he's a big, big football fan. Mm -hmm. And yes, if you forgot, in Little Giants back in the day, starring Ed O'Neill and Rick Moranis, John Madden comes in with a cameo. It's pretty cool. So I have a couple thoughts on this about who I would have picked. It is going to be Nicolas Cage. Apparently that's happening. I'm with you, Akbar, in the sense that there's many great actors who are no longer with us who would I would love to play that role. And the one that really breaks my heart is John Candy. John Candy yeah. playing John Madden would have been absolutely a symphony. Uh, he's, they're kind of equally beloved in their own ways in terms of their legacy and what they left in the video games and the films and the broadcasting. It really breaks my heart that John Candy couldn't play that role. However... I have a very strong feeling about who should have been cast and who was not cast. And um, I have a little video I'm going to throw to here. And okay. in a way, last night, I was able to reach out to some sort of uh, reflection of John Madden and ask John Madden himself who he thinks should play John Madden in a movie. Go ahead. I mean, Kyle, when you, when you think of all the guys that, that could play John Madden and, and then there's the guys that couldn't play John Madden at the end of the day when you think about 
who's going to play John Madden, it's probably going to be uh, uh, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I Absolutely so love that's that, Frank, man. <laughs> the best, a legend, saying Madden would play Nicolas Cage. And then Frank was on one last night. Then he says he wants to give some Nicolas Cage and Madden kind of in one scene together. Roll it. Oh, wow. You know, Nicolas Cage, that's John Madden. Hey folks, John Madden here, and welcome to John Madden Football. <laughs> now I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh, that's just too he good, He always man. nails it. That's too good. Now, God. listen, Frank Caliendo <laughs> has mm -hmm. been out there working the clubs, working the bars, working the arenas, working the TV shows, the, oh. the radio rows. As Madden, for more than 20 years, 25 years, he's been out in the streets doing John Madden. This should have been his coronation of his life's work as oh. Frank Caliendo playing John Madden. Now listen, when they needed someone to play Ice Cube, it was his son. Mm. When they needed someone to play young Tony Soprano, it was Gandolfini's son. Short of John Madden's actual son wanting to play his father, it should have been Frank Caliendo, and I'll tell you why, because Who's going to play Pat Summerall next to Caliendo's John Madden? Caliendo's going to play Pat Summerall, too. <laughs> It'll be like when Eddie Murphy plays 50 characters in one scene. Summerall is each role. He worked for this. He deserves this. I respect Nicolas Cage. He already has his Oscar. I want someone to be up there at the Oscars next year or two years and say, and the Oscar goes to Frank Caliendo as John Madden. He's earned it. He deserves it. Recast this man. Frank should play Madden. That's my uh, this, final word. Okay, you know what? This 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 is great. This 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 is absolutely great. Do do we have Frank doing Pat Summerall? Do we have do, do you have that video? Did you get him to do that one? No, but he does Summerall. He's yeah. like, flags fly. It's it's fantastic. He could play everybody in Madden's life. Give it to Frank. He's he earned it. Should, uh, Come Kyle, on. We love it. First of all, Frank, thank you for allowing us to screen grab that over there. That is uh, <laughs> lovely and legendary. That's we an love artist. having it on. That's an artist right there. Uh, plus, Kyle, to your point, there's so many chapters to Madden's life and career. Frank can cover them all. It's not like you're trying to do, That's you right. know, get, you know, five different actors to play. Frank, no matter what, the wig, prosthetic, it doesn't matter. He can do every single age of Madden. Kyle, I agree. I, I, I'm with you. You know what the it's problem is, Jamie? I mean, when the movie comes out, and I'm sure Nicolas Cage is going to be wildly committed and wide-eyed and nuts like he always is, and he'll do a pretty good Madden, everyone's going to be like, that's not as good as Caliendo's Madden. He mm -hmm. doesn't say, he doesn't, everybody doing a Madden impression is just doing an impression of Caliendo doing an impression of Madden. He wow. owns that turf. That is his corner, Nick Cage. Get off it. That's, that's his.